Hi everyone, this is Kyuho from Login Headquarters in South Korea. We have made this video to help you in using 3D CMM more efficiently. Please contact us on our official website if you have any question. First, let me introduce Dugin. Dugin was established in 25th of September 1990. Well known as the first 3D CMM manufacturer in South Korea and providing quick and easily accessible localized customer support and training courses and also not only just 3D CMM industry we have expanded our business to display businesses x-ray business okay let's talk about main purpose of precision measurement this is about inspecting manufactured machinery parts whether they are properly manufactured or not depends on size, form, working process, function, material condition, requirements, and etc. It refers to comparison of the size, form, surface, roughness, etc. except for the material inspection. A neuromeasure uses based on a meter unit, but also it supports inches, radian, degree, and DMS as well. Types of measurement method. There are definitions of dimension here, but let's talk about zero dimension first. Think of a point as a zero dimension, and then if you duplicate that point and connect it each other, it becomes first dimension. It has only one degree of freedom, which is straight line, such as x, y, z, as a coordinate. And also, still rulers, micrometers, height gauges, dial gauges, etc. And if you duplicate this straight line, that is first dimension, then put it together perpendicularly and it becomes second dimension. It is a plane that has two degrees of freedom. So for example, we can think of microscope and projector, etc. At last, third dimension. If the plane that is two dimensional is duplicated and put it together perpendicularly, it becomes third dimension it is a space with three degrees of freedom so for example 3d coordinate measuring machines and layout machines and etc on this page we're gonna look about uh, on this page we're going to take a look the advantages and disadvantages of measurement methods as an example of stage measurement, we can think of a ruler. Anyone can use a ruler without going through a manual before using it. But everyone does not use it as the same way. And that means repeatability is not really reliable if it's used by multiple people. But relatively cheaper than coordinate measuring machines. That's for sure. And let's have a look at the coordinate measurement. If you have a CMM, easy to measure a complicated product, which you can't possibly measure with a ruler. And it's using software, which means you can contain measured data easily as well. And real time quality management is totally possible. But it is quite complicated system, so therefore must be trained in advance for complicated system. And also, CMM is very vulnerable to environmental changes such as temperature, variation, and etc. Let's have a look at the definition of 3D CMM. CMM is short for Coordinate Measuring Machine. There are many ways to define what CMM is. It is a multi-purpose measuring equipment with a probe 
moving in 3D space to detect the positions of measuring points and a computer to process the data. If you look at it, all these definitions are mentioning probe. Here and this one, a probing system. So we all can assume probe is a very important component for CMM. Okay, let's look at the CMM constructor. It's a main body and probe, computer, controller, aka electronic control unit, and joystick printer. First main body, we selected granite as a main body material because it has excellent thermal expansion coefficient. And also, each assays are operated by air bearings and motors. And optical scales attached on the each assays as well. And second, the probe. It is a sensor that detects the position of objects in a space. And also classified as contact and non-contact probes. We're going to look at the details of probe components later. A third electric control unit, aka controller. We usually call it as controller. So don't get confused if we say controller. It means we're talking about electric control unit. So on the controller, power switch is located which is turning on and off the machine. The controller supplies the electricity to the main body and accessories. And also control the velocity and acceleration with the accurate position. So this component is in charge of CMM's stability and accuracy. And the next, joystick. Usually, two-way joystick will be supplied. The right joystick is for X and Y direction and the left one is for that direction and also you can get various information from the LCD attached on it if there's any problems or errors on the machine message will appear on the LCD on the right side of LCD there is a lever to control the machine speed when it's CNC mode and there are lock keys for each assets on the side and touch disabled reset button is located next to the emergency button. If you press the touch disabled reset button when the CMM is normal, it cuts off the signal through the probe sensor. And if you press the button when the error message is on, it will clear the message if it's already solved. Computer is an essential device of CMM because it operates the software and communicates with the electric control unit and also calculates the output measuring components, many things, etc. Extra equipments are not mandatory, but they are quite useful if you have installed on your CMM. Rotary table provides the fourth axis on CMM and also auto probe changer. This allows using multiple probes at once without having them calibrated whenever you need to use it. And clamping kit is also very useful equipment for fixing complicated shape parts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you think this video was very useful for you. Click like as well. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.